From Rwanda, to Yisenge Dennis Prince. Rwanda scooped its first ever gold medal at the Pan-African Mathematics Olympiad in South Africa on Tuesday, August 20, 2024. Danny Prince, a student at Hope Haven Christian School in Kigali, won the coveted medal at the competition held at Johannesburg. He was one of the six students from Rwanda who participated in the contest. In addition to the gold medal, the Rwandan team also secured a silver medal, three bronze medals, and several Pamo Girls bronze medals. In this segment, we speak to the young star who put Rwanda on the world map and other faces behind his success. Pan-African Math Olympiad okay, is, as its name says, it's an African math contest. It is composed of six problems which are done in two days. Each question worth seven marks. I got 33 out of 42 marks. With assistance of my coaches at Ames and others, and my teachers, I practiced like many problems. I read through the syllabus of the Math Olympiad and I tried to like cover much of it so that I could be at the level of Pan African Math Olympiad. Being to the level of being the best among the best, you meet some challenges. Okay, like being new to the things of Olympiad, it's not easy because it's not similar to the, the, the math we learn in class. So you just need to work hard, okay, sleep late, just studying. So it's not easy, it's not easy. To balance my math studies with other subjects, I make sure that when the teacher is teaching, I ensure 100% following him so that I will not need more time by revising the other subjects. The meeting with the minister and the president was just wonderful. Okay, I didn't think I will ever meet the president because I saw him on photos, I saw him in videos. It gave me a kind of like encouragement to even work harder to meet other, other people. My advice to other students who are interested in math and math contests is to work hard. Uh, don't be afraid about like tackling a problem because sometimes you see a problem and like without even trying it, you you conclude that it's hard and you, you you can't just solve it. So that causes one to fail. So feel like you can solve any problem you meet. You can solve any math problem. The only thing you need is to give it time and practice. I'm interested in the fields of engineering like chemical, electronics and mechanical engineering. So in the future I would like to be uh, an engineer in one of those fields. Uh, hi there, my name is uh, Arun Shanmuganathan. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of the Rwanda Math Olympiad program. Uh, it's a program that started five years ago uh, where we find the top math, uh, math students from across Rwanda and then train them up to go and compete at international competitions. In 2011, I competed on behalf of Team New Zealand. I went to the Netherlands and in the Netherlands I won a silver medal and that actually unlocked a lot of amazing opportunities for me, including I got to go and study at top universities like Cambridge and Oxford, and I never would have had the chance to do that coming from a small country like New Zealand, um, and so because it unlocked so many great opportunities for me, I wanted to share that with more students. Rwanda, we managed to secure our very first gold medal, which uh, actually very few countries uh, in Africa ever achieve. Normally it's primarily the North African countries like Morocco and Tunisia, as well as South Africa. Usually those are the main countries that receive gold medals. So for Rwanda to, to challenge the dominance of those countries is, uh, is a huge, huge uh, a testament to the success that it has achieved. Um, not only that, every single one of our six students uh, received a medal at either PAMO or Pamo Girls, um, and so it was really, really a, a solid performance, especially given that all of the contestants 
at PAMA have more years to come, which means that they can actually do even better, uh, they can go to IMO and, and receive medals. So it's, uh, it's, it just shows like what investing in young people can, can really do if you're able to select and train young people at an early age. The program continues to grow, the program continues to expand. So our goals really are to continue to, to win more medals. Like, so now that we've got our first, the, the benchmark is set high, so we need to be getting uh, more, more gold medals. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of work to do, and we're excited about the continued opportunities in the program. Speaking with the president was an incredible opportunity especially for all of the students. Uh, it shows that he really values the success of these students. It really shows that he values uh, us taking Rwandan students to a global stage. Uh, he, he appreciated the hard work that the students put in. He appreciated the hard work that the parents put in, the hard work that the organizers and institutions like Ames and the University of Rwanda are put in behind this. So it's really a, a great thing to, to have the support of, uh, of the president. And uh, yeah, and I, and I think for us who are organizing the, the the, the program, it's, it really means a lot knowing that even at the highest levels of this country we have the support that we need to keep growing and keep investing deeply in the success of the students. My name is Obed Kurosengen Sanzafura and uh, I am head coach at Rwanda Mathematics Olympiad. The term coach is, can be explained in different ways but in our context it is a very important term because when you say the students have, got, have won all of these big successes, in the background, there are these big pool of coaches who are actually doing the work and they're helping the students to improve as much as they can. And when the students come back with all of these successes, it is so excitement. Definitely this victory from Pan-African Master Olympiad is a big thing. But as you can understand it, it is another assignment. It doesn't make sense for us to next year bring back a silver or a bronze. Rather, increase the number of goals, at least. <laughs> but as Pan-African Math Olympiad is a kind of a middle competition, we have another higher level competition called International Math Olympiad, or shortly IMO. And obviously when we send these students and they're accumulating these big successes in Pan-African Math Olympiad, it shows that, oh, we can also do it even at IMO, why not? And this is my kind of first priority or first goal so that I can even accumulate this kind of success at IMO.